Hey guys, Mika here, and I'm bringing you um, an excellent, excellent sounding, beautiful uh, custom baritone ukulele by Kevin Mason. Um, this is almost like a hybrid model. So you have a baritone body, but what's interesting about this ukulele is that you have kind of like a hybrid size neck, which is um, the scale length of the neck is kind of right in between a tenor size, which is around averagely like 17.25 inch, and then the baritone is about 19 to 20 inches. Um, this ukulele scale length is 18 and 3 eighths, uh, just under 18.5 inches of the scale length. So you, have, you almost have the feel as if you're playing a tenor size ukulele, but you're going to get that nice, lush, a lush, rich baritone kind of sound from this instrument. Um, and you can notice right here. <laughs> Like when I play the C chord, it's actually like a B flat chord. This ukulele is tuned uh, two frets down. So usually ukulele is tuned in like the key of C. Um, this tuning is pretty much tuned like in the key of B flat. So basically if I were to go ahead and hold the second fret down, this would be your My Dog Has Fleas tuning or your standard ukulele G, C, E, A tuning. But what this ukulele is doing is it's tuned down two whole frets. So B flat six tuning or like a B flat tuning. So by doing that, the, the string tension is going to be looser. So when you go ahead and just, you know, do some finger style. It's a lot easier on your fingers because the string tension is lighter um, due to the more spaced out or longer scale length um, of the fretboard and the looser string tension. And along with that, you're going to get, again, just a much warmer tone with this ukulele. It's the best of both worlds, getting that nice, big, warm baritone sound. But the thing with baritone ukulele is, is that if you don't have a big enough hand, sometimes the reach might be a little kind of a, um, much or the spacing between the frets might be a little too much. But this ukulele um, solves that by being a hybrid model of having that tenor size, more kind of feel neck with that big baritone body. So um, let me go ahead and get into the beautiful specs of this instrument. We have West Western Red Cedar here on the top. Very, very nice tan kind of like that warm kind of color uh, we have a nice curly coil rosette here with gold mother of pearl in the middle of the curly coil with the white purfling um, around the curly coil here in the rosette and then we also have the white purfling that surrounds the western red cedar here on the top we have curly coil binding on the top and the back of this instrument and here on the sides and back arguably in my opinion might be one of the most beautiful pieces of Macassar ebony I've ever seen um, on an ukulele. I've seen a lot of different variations of what Macassar ebony can look like from it being very plain kind of more on the darker you know more it looks more black to being almost like rosewood-ish like just crazy chocolate almost looks like Zericolte in a way but I've really never seen um, Macassar Ebony look this nice with this kind of book matching with just the colors and details in this grain uh, grain pattern. This is ridiculously nice. I mean, if I wanted Macassar Ebony um, for my sides and back of an instrument, I would literally copy and paste what you're seeing right here. This is absolutely stunning. So even here on the side, just really nice, vibrant uh, wood grain patterns and the colors just really nice. And you can see here we have the, the side port. But just beautiful. I, I really can't just stop staring at it. Even when I first took it out of the, the case, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is so nice. So you guys can kind of see it. there's different angles of that. Highlighted again nicely with the curly coil. Um, aesthetics of nice curly coil binding on the back and sides. So coming back to the front, we also have Macassar Ebony here on the bridge. Macassar Ebony here on the fretboard. And then just like how we have the golden mother of pearl around the rosette, we also have like this plumeria flower here around the 12th fret, um, golden, golden mother of pearl, and also um, the fret markers here on the instrument. Um, one important thing to note on this instrument is that very commonly, the amount of frets to the body of the instruments typically are about 14. If we're playing more like of a classical ukulele, or if you think of classical guitars, it's very common to have 12 frets to the body. This ukulele has 13 frets. This is the 12th fret, 13th frets uh, to the body right here. So um, pretty much like one fret shorter, but that's to, you know, to to make do with the hybrid version of the fretboard with this instrument. So very, very cool to see this and being able to play it. 13 right there 14 and then very nice sound so uh, moving up uh, we're gonna have also Macassar Ebony here on the slotted headstock 
We have really nice Rubner tuners with the snake wood button kind of pattern here on the tuning pegs, really nice and it matches the overall aesthetic of this instrument. And then we have a Spanish cedar here on the neck. And then one last thing that I wanted to go ahead and mention is that this has, this ukulele has a radius fretboard here on the, um, you know, in my opinion, I played a bunch of different instruments with the flat regular fretboard and then also instruments with the radius or curved fretboard. Um, and I've, over time, I've grown to really like and appreciate the radius fretboard on instruments. Um, I really do think it makes a difference in terms of trying to make these bar chords a little easier to hold and not being able to press or not having to press harder than you really need to with the radius fretboard. So um, if you can get an ukulele with the radius fretboard, especially if you have like tendonitis in your hands or if you have a, or, or arthritis in your hands, um, it's one of those things that if you want to up your ukulele experience and or, or you know, increase your overall enjoyment or experience of playing ukulele. Try to look, uh, look for an instrument with a radius fretboard, just like this one. Um, so sound, I mean, this instrument blows me away. I remember when I picked it up and I just played this C, B flat chord, but like in the C shape, like the C chord, and it's just beautiful. I mean, I was just thinking to myself that it almost sounds like a classical ukulele. Now, what does that mean? Um, I used to be a classical guitar player for a few years when I was in college. And every time I picked up like a really good classical guitar, it always had so much sound and so much presence and so much reverb, like it had this natural acoustic reverb um, to it. And basically when you strum even like an E chord on a, like a power chord or an E chord on a guitar, it's just like, wow, like so much sound, it fills the room. And to me, this ukulele achieves that. Um, when I play just like simple C chord and F chord, it, there's just so much nice sound. The tone of the instrument is just really beautiful. It hits the nail on the head. For me personally, this is the kind of sound that I would want in an ukulele that I would want to own. It's just really clean when I'm doing picking on the A string, E string, C string. It's just so clean. Um, you know, when you're talking about note separation, so like if I'm holding like five, 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 seven, this F major seven chord, if I go ahead and pluck in each individual note, you can hear every single note very crystal clean. It's very pristine. It doesn't get muddied out over each other. You know, even this like D minor, D minor seven chord. It's just so clean. It has a nice balance of warmth, big resonance, but my favorite word to describe ukulele is it's still very articulate. I can hear every single note so cleanly, no matter what part of the instrument I'm on, all the way up here in 15. Here on the C string, G string. All around extremely clean very beautiful sound very nice tone nice amount of warmth big sound even these chords up here so clean walking all the way down clean from from all the way up here to all the way down here walking down the whole fretboard so um, let me go ahead and play a song or two maybe I'll improvise a little bit on this instrument just so you guys can get a better idea of how just fantastic this is truly an excellent sounding um, again baritone slash hybrid tenor baritone ukulele this this thing is phenomenal so hopefully you guys will enjoy this sound sample
absolutely beautiful to play so easy to play the the setup on here the the, the action of this or the action the height of the instrument is just right and um i always like to tease myself i have such girly hands and my hands are going to start hurting if the action pretty much if the strings are too high above the frets um, and you have to press harder for every little single every single thing you do on the instrument my hands will start hurting um, after a while so this instrument is just such a joy to play it sounds beautiful it's easy to play the playability of this is excellent um, makes me want to play this for a very long time bring me a lot of joy so really really nice setup on this it's ready to go um, you know who, who's ever lucky enough to own this instrument uh, so let me go ahead and do one more kind of quick strumming so that way you guys can see what this ukulele sounds like with a bit of strumming so here we go let's do something in a Thank mm -hmm. you. 